but I would never do this again, that's for sure. You notice they didn't bother to shave on the trip. They all have facial hair. After spending the night in Baton Rouge, we untie from the USS Kid and set out for New Orleans. Day 57, we are leaving Baton Rouge, the red stick, and we're making our way further down south. We are 230 miles away from the Gulf of Mexico. Because we're getting so close to the open ocean, the boat traffic around us has changed dramatically. This is our first encounter with these container ships. You see that? Right back over there, that's the Prospector 2. We passed it earlier, but now it's moving. Look at how massive it is compared to the barges. Look how big that is! Crazy! This is a whole new element of canoeing down the Mississippi River. This guy is going to sea. He's from Monrovia, Liberia. Isn't that insane? Sharing the water with these guys took a little getting used to. We managed to paddle 54 miles without any incident. Whew, I'm tired. Come on, let's pull this boat up. Okay. Oh, nice view. Yeah, I think it's a really cool spot. Yeah, it's beautiful. One of our nicer ones, actually. Yeah. It's like it's because the, it's the integration of the sand with the trees that makes it look really cool. Mm -hmm. and getting closer, very, very close. You can, well, you can't smell it. But we'll be able to smell it soon. Maneuvering around the ocean liners is a bit nerve-wracking, but being so close to the end, our excitement is getting harder and harder to contain. 147. 147 miles to go. Woo! The container ships are much larger and move quite a bit faster than the barges we were used to. To stay out of their path, we hug the shore. 52 miles in, we are done with the day. The industry stretched out for miles. The sun was setting, so we settled for a camp spot between two factories. Yes. Georgia, man, or I was gonna say Georgia, Azerbaijan. It's day 59. We are just outside of New Orleans, and hopefully we'll be passing through it today. We're just 30 miles outside of New Orleans, but before we get there, we have to navigate through a bustling industrial waterway. We made it to New Orleans. That behind me is considered to some to be the end of the Mississippi River, and we made it. We're not done yet. We have 95 miles to go. It's surreal to have New Orleans behind us, and to know that in just a few days, we may actually reach our destination. Being 81 miles away feels very cool. The biggest thing is they went to double digits. Well, I'm pretty excited it's very close, but I'm feeling really weak and tired, like my body's just beat up. So I'll be very, very happy when it happens. I'm just kind of singular focus, trying to get it done and not pass out pretty much. Two more days left. Tomorrow's a big day, and hopefully we can rack up so many miles that the next day is really easy. Not being done with this trip. I think I'll be happy to know that the hard drives are back safe and that the footage yeah, kind of like is actually existing somewhere. Because if the hard drives don't get back, then this clip, for example, never goes anywhere. And then you can't edit the series, nobody can watch the series. The last 40 days, totally irrelevant. After all this talk about getting close to the end, there's something I needed to get off my chest. Carbon triumph! Yay, yay! Yay, yay! We're yay! doing down the Mississippi River, say yay, yay! Yay, yay! Dollars, <laughs> dollars, yeah, go to the Gulf, yeah! All right, all right, yeah! Yay, yay!
You notice that Where everybody from? has to shave on the trip. What y'all doing? They all have facial hair. What y'all doing with those yellow canoes? Where y'all from? In the morning. Where y'all from? Where